Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video tour. Today we're taking a look at the brand new, totally revamped 2024 XLR Nitro 39 G15 Toy Hauler 5th Bull. XLR's made a ton of changes for the new 2024 lineup. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of this beautiful triple slide out toy hauler, show you what this thing's all about. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now up inside the brand new 2024 XLR Nitro 39 G15 toy hauler here. As you see it on the floor plan that was up, this is a triple slide out toy hauler. We are going to actually get started in the back and we'll kind of work our way forward for you. So stepping on back into the garage area, I do have the bed kind of in up mode along with the dinette down. So you could kind of get an idea what it looks like room wise where you could run your toys in here. We'll put that down for you here in a few minutes. All right, so back here in the back section, we have it in patio mode. So we have the ramp area all set up with the railing out. There is a set of steps right here that was ordered on this one, and I did not put those out, but kind of get you an idea here. You have a little gate area right here, and basically you can put your steps down, walk right off the back area. We have the three season door, which has the screens, or you have glass panels that you can raise up and down, or you could remove them if you wanted to, depending on the weather. A couple lights up here, and you also have prepping up there for the Voyager rear camera. You can see you have an LED light built in for the awning as well. Now you'll see this a little better from down in the uh, on the ground when we do step back outside and kind of do the whole outside tour. Now your three season door is going to have these little uh, pull straps here that undo a little piece up there allowing the door to swing open. Your door just slides nicely. But that gives you a lot of extra room there to bring your toys in when you open those up. And you can see your floor is kind of sloped, just making it a little easier for that transition up into the garage. A whole new look for the XLR Nitro for this 2024 lineup now. They got nicely framed out square windows, their deep tent safety glass windows, they also have the built-in pull-down shade as well. You're starting to see these square windows in a lot of RVs nowadays. Um, square windows used to be real popular back in the old days. I've been in the business now for almost 25 years. Uh, so everybody was doing square windows a long time ago. Then they all went to radius, and now the square is coming back. Um, just giving a little different look than what you're used to seeing over the last 20-plus years. You have a nice big wide ladder here kind of getting up to your loft area up here so there's a little vent fan up there you got some ac ducts up here a little bit of room to kind of maneuver around for the kids or whatever there's tv hookups over there as well Now right here, you're going to have a little sink area, so if you come back on a nice dirty ride, you can come, uh, come right up in here, kind of wash your hands. You got a little medicine cabinet area up here. Now right here, you are going to have your bathroom area. So we have porcelain foot flush toilet, and we also have a shower. So again, if you're coming in here from a muddy ride or something, you could come up in here. There's a little vent fan up there too. Hose off, wash off, whatever, before you have to worry about going into the rest of the RV. And it does have one of those little pull-across uh, vinyl door things. But basically just a little step-in shower. 
little bathroom area here. There is a decent amount of room to actually sit down on the throne and be able to use it. All right, well, let's put down this bed here, kind of show you what that's gonna look like too. All right, so here you can see what it looks like down, kind of in uh, dinette mode. I put one of the tables up and left the other one down laying there, but there are two tables. So if you just wanna set up one, both, none, however you wanna do it. You do have little cup holders in the middle as well. And then that bottom area will fold into a bed. So you could sleep two people there and then you're gonna have room up here to sleep two more people. There's electric outlets up there, a couple lights up there, and then this was also ordered with three AC, so you do have another AC back here as well. But overall, a really nicely set up garage, or second bedroom, or maybe even an office, depending on you know what your job habits are, if you can work camp, travel. You have quite a few D-rings built into the floor, kind of a rubber diamond plate mat floor. There's an electric outlet right there. And we're going to have light switches, more light switches. We have a, uh, one of the AC controls, back awning, side awning, bed controls. And then we have a camera here that allows you to see what's going on with your toy when you're actually driving down the road. Um, so that is kind of a cool feature as well. Have a nice big door going in and out of the living room kitchen area. So stepping back into our living room kitchen area here, let's get started over here. So first things up, we have a large sofa slide out, which does have huge windows overlooking the campsite area. Nice decorative lighting up top. Again, you have those framed out kind of square windows with the built-in shades. You have a four seat reclining sofa. So you got four built-in recliners there. There's USB charger ports on both sides. You're gonna have large TV over here, currently using the Jensen TV. You have a Jensen soundbar here, 40 inch Greystone electric fireplace, which is basically a fancy electric space heater. Really nice, kind of knocks the chill off. There is a propane leak detector down there. And then over here, we have a little Bluetooth connector stereo set up right here. Now, just kind of looking up, you can see there's a subwoofer built in. You have a little bit of shelf area and stuff there. You could put you some decorations up there. Couple speakers up here, another AC. Some nice decorative hang down pendant lighting there. A little lighting around your toe kick area. This is all kind of a vinyl floor set up in here, so no carpet. You have this really, really cool sink. I think the first time I actually seen this was probably on TikTok. And a lot of people, or a lot of RV makers and their higher end stuff have been starting to add this in. But basically you have a little cup holder, soap dispenser, you know, your water on off. Uh, there's a little waterfall thing here so you can wrench off your vegetable uh, vegetables you have a cutting board built in and there's another little catch down here so there's all kinds of little goodies that you can kind of use with this sink setup in here really really cool high-rise sprayer faucet nice solid surface kitchen countertops as well and you're going to have full extending ball burn drawer guided drawers, soft clothes. 
you have magnetic catches on your cabinets and these are also a soft close hinge as well over here we're gonna have the pantry area so let's open this up we have just some shelf space basically kind of decent amount of space Check out the little uh, kind of like 3D graphic on the doors and stuff too. Kind of different. Currently using the Furion refrigerator. So over here you're going to have the freezer on the left. This is a 12 volt refrigerator system. But a nice size refrigerator. Up top more storage they are using the furion oven which is a nice big oven as well um, it is a three burner stovetop got the little light up knobs but it's a pretty good size oven and then down here you have a little drawer space some more space over there a window behind the stove there does open you got the big fury on microwave more overhead space up there for cabinetry you also have the uh, turbo exhaust fan up there lots of more drawers and cabinets and all that good stuff here as well the unit has water filtration system tire pressure monitoring system this is really nice this thing being a triple axle, you got six tires to keep up with there. Uh, really, really nice setup here for this backsplash stuff. But definitely love the improvements for the 2024 lineup. You have kind of that little floating step look down there, and it has a motion light down there as well. There's also the electric box, the breakers and fuses, digital thermostat for your propane furnace and your middle air conditioner. Right here, you got kind of a whole control panel system right here. I like how they put it inside of an actual little cabinet, kind of hit it. So you got a bunch of light switches, one of the awning switches, three slides, 12 volt tank heaters for cold weather camping, fuel pump cutoff, uh, a water heater override button, pump for your uh, water tank there is the monitor panel generator start stop hour meter 30 amp solar charge controller um, just all kinds of goodies up here there's the turbo exhaust fan controls and some electric stuff um, like the little window in the hallway area here again that little 3d effect on that door so in here, we have a really nice bathroom, actually. This has a one-piece fiberglass shower with a sit-down seat. You do have a little vent fan up here. There's a skylight up above. The adjustable shower bar and the really nice big shower head as well. Just a lot more modern look. They put the uh, little drawers in here as well, along with a little bit of uh, linen space. There is also uh, another little motion light down there. Again, decent amount of room to sit down. A little cabinet area here. The on-demand water heater controls right there. can definitely tell that XLR has been put under new management and doing a wonderful job at the new look.
So up here in your bedroom area, you're gonna have washer dryer hookup right here. So you could do a combo washer dryer if you wanted to. You could do a stackable washer dryer. This is kind of neat. This just kind of drops down, but then you could flip it up. You know, maybe hang something up here if you wanted to. Again, that nice big window overlooking the campsite area. Then here you do have a couple lights in here as well, but a little hanging closet area. There's some shelf space and stuff in here. And a little bit of room down below. There is some more space over here. And some more cabinets. Probably need to put a little bumper thingy on there so you don't do what I just did. Smack the cabinet on there. There is window on each side. Those open. And over here, you're going to have some more shelf space. And here we have yep, more cabinets. But overall, pretty good sized bedroom here. Plenty of room to maneuver around the foot area of the bed. But a nice little bonus, you do have the Versa bed that raises up and down right here. Third AC control, light switch, electric outlet. But this right here, I push the button and this is gonna go up. And when it goes up, it kind of pulls the bed back a little bit, giving you even more room at the foot of the bed. Not a huge amount, but enough to you know, just kind of make it nice. And you're going to have your dresser drawer area as well. TV hookups up there. And there is prepping for the uh, Gateway Connect that would allow you to like subscribe to AT&T or Verizon or something and actually bring in a Wi-Fi connection with you. That's part of the, uh, I think it's the WineGuard Air 360 Plus, if I remember correctly. It's basically a TV antenna that can also accept Wi-Fi stuff. But you got to subscribe to that. All right, thanks for joining me on a tour of the inside. Now we're going to head outside if you want to stick around for that. And then at the very end, we're going to close it up. As always, guys, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. Helps out my channel a ton to definitely hit that like button down below. All right, let's step on out to the outside. All right, we are back on the outside of the brand new 2024 XLR Nitro 39G15 here. And this is a whole new look for XLR on the outside. So you do have a really nice high gloss fiberglass exterior new graphics package for outside, and you also have the ability to order it with a few different exterior paint jobs if you wanna pay the extra money for it. Definitely talk with your salesperson about some of the upgrades and options you can order on these things. Right here, you do have those square deep tent safety glass windows. The unit has the six point electric auto level jack system on it as well. Behind this first door, you're going to have two 30-pound propane tanks right here. Um, basically has the uh, auto changeover regulator and stuff on it as well. So pretty normal for most RVs. Some use 20-pounders, and then your real high-end ones usually use 40s. Swing door for your little storage area right here. You can see some of that aluminum tube framing up there. Now, it's got little quick releases there, so you can uh, pop that panel out in case you need to do anything for some maintenance. There's some lights in there as well. And you also have electric outlet out here. You're going to have uh, the more ride entrance step here, and it also has the large more ride handle here as well. The entry door uh, does have the window, and it's Lippert Thin Shade Prepped, so you can get that little aftermarket shade that goes in there if you want. Jensen TV out here, some outside speakers as well. You could also uh, consider that paint job as well. Triple axle unit, 
Currently riding on Goodyear Endurance tires. Again, has that tire pressure monitoring system as well. You have drum brakes. Does have the More Ride CRE 3000 center suspension, uh, which just kind of acts as like shock absorbers for RV axles. Really nice upgrade. You have that more right entrance step back here, more traditional folding handle back here. Now this is a pretty cool feature right here. There is the air compressor feature. That's a nice little setup there. So if you got your toys out and you happen to get a flat or something, you can air them up. And I did forget to mention when we were inside there's actually a spot back here in the corner for that air compressor hookup as well. Forgot to mention that about that in the garage. You can see here again, patio mode, it's down. Got that awning out. You could do those steps off the back. Again, prepped for that camera system. Prepping on the side right here for the Lippert Portable Stow and Go Ladder. You can get aftermarket. That's a nice ladder to consider. Fuel hookups right here so you could fill up your toys. There's a dump hose holder down here. You have dumping back here for the second bathroom. Black tank flush right here as well. Again, that more ride CRE 3000. Second dump area, there's a freshwater tank drain right there as well. Step back here so you can see down this whole side a little better. So there's a vent fan up there. You have the furnace exhausting out right here. You're going to have your Furion on-demand water heater right here. There are some dump handles up there along the frame as well. And then this is the other side of your storage compartment right here. You're going to have battery disconnect, a light switch, and you got your jack controls right there as well. Over here, you have the uh, outside shower, some directional valves for your water hookups here. So you have a black tank flush for the front bathroom, inlet for your water, send the water where you want it to go by these valves. Then you have the whole house water filtration system, little storage area here. Important informational stickers right here, guys. This one was built 12-8 of 23. 39 G15, gross vehicle weight, axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined, 21,000 pounds. Three 7,000 pound axles. ST25 85R16 E range tires. Uh, looks like with uh, 80 PSI, it says right here. And over here, you're going to have your dry weight sticker. 15,343 pounds with an exterior length of 44 feet 11 inches. So roughly 45 foot long coach here. You have a nice fiberglass front cap. There are some LED lights in there as well. I forgot to turn those on. Currently using the Rhino pin box. So if you do plan on upgrading this to like a Kurt Air Ride or a Moor Ride box, you got to make sure it bolts up to the Rhino Box bolt pattern. Right here, you're going to have an area for some batteries. There's some lights in here as well. It's kind of some of the guts of the RV inside of here. Now, this is pretty cool. They're using the NPS 6000 watt generator, where most of them are using an Onan 5500 watt. Uh, this is powered by Yamaha. Really nice generator. Again, 6,000 watts, so you got a little more juice. Another little storage area right there. All right, 
I want to run back inside here. I want to close this thing up for you, show you what this thing looks like all closed up. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are back up inside the brand new 2024 XLR 39G15 here. And we're going to close up the slides. I've already kind of cheated a little bit here. I closed up two of them just to kind of speed this up for you a little bit. So you can see what this looks like. We got the kitchen slide all closed up. Pantry there on the left. We're not really able to get into that area. But I could open up my freezer on this side. I got full access to it. I can get into my refrigerator some, so I could reach in there and maybe grab something to make a sandwich or grab a nice drink or something. You're not gonna have a whole lot of room to get to the cabinet area underneath of there, but it's very, very important to make sure your cabinet doors and drawers and everything are closed and buttoned up nice and tidy so that they don't actually come open in transit. Same thing over here. You got your drawers and cabinets over there. Make sure they are all buttoned up, especially when you're going out. You don't want to accidentally have one pop open in transit and then end up damaging something, not paying attention. Up here, you can see the bedroom slide is already in. Comes right up against your dresser area. I could still come up here, lay down, take a nap at a rest area or something. I'm not really going to be able to get back in that little cabinet very well. I could climb across the bed and get to you know my closet if I needed to. So I still have some functionality with the bed area. I got full access to this big bathroom up here. And I can pass through with this one slide closed. Now we're going to close up the other slide and that really blocks us off from the back half of the RV. So then you would have to go through the garage door to get to that area. But when you are ready to close it up again, you have to come back over here to your control panel and you got your three slide buttons labeled nicely. This is the living room slide. It's basically going to come straight in and go straight out. It is a 12 volt slide. So as long as you got a good battery, you should hopefully be able to get her in and out pretty easily. It's going to get really, really close to that counter and fireplace and everything over there and kind of block you off from the back of the RV. Now, again, when it's closed, all three slides are closed now. I can still come in here. I can get to my bathroom. I can get to my bedroom. I could come over here if I really wanted to maybe make something on the stove. I could reach over here and use my sink. Probably about five inches or so you could squeeze through there if you're a small person. That's not me, so I'm not going to try it, but it definitely could be doable for a smaller person, especially kids. Now, very, very important when opening and closing your slides, again, make sure that nothing is in your way. You, know, you don't want any toys uh, rocks off your shoe or something, you know, in the floor that could possibly get under your slide and rip and damage your floor. Very important when opening them up to make sure, again, all your cabinet doors are latched and closed and out of the way so they don't get caught on the slide. And also make sure that, you know, your surroundings in general, just so you don't accidentally uh run into you know the electric pole at the campground or water pole at the campground or something you know trees or whatever you might have wherever you're at so just be careful take your time but as you see nice and easy to do as always folks please remember to like share and subscribe if interested in keeping up with more of my rv tours and as always please remember to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. They're definitely going to save you a lot of money on a new RV if you're interested. Thanks again.